best move. Doesn't matter if you win or lose, as long as you give it your best. Pass the ball. Someone's waiting. Trust would be the key to getting his friendship. Greetings, fellow enthusiasts of Slam Dunk. As we embark on this thrilling journey, let's immerse ourselves once more in the captivating universe of Shohoku High School's iconic basketball team. Brace yourselves for a nostalgic and adrenaline-fueled experience, where we will revisit the heart-pounding matches, intense rivalries, and unyielding determination that characterizes this extraordinary saga. Prepare to be swept away by the electrifying energy as we delve back into the world of Slam Dunk, rediscovering the fervor, determination, and sheer thrill of witnessing our favorite team's relentless pursuit of excellence on the basketball courts. Together, let's reignite the passion and excitement of Slam Dunk, following our beloved team as they strive for glory in their exhilarating quest for victory. On the opening day of the regional championship finals, a clash commenced between the long-standing powerhouse, Kanan reigning champions for an impressive 16-year streak, and the determined underdogs, Shohoku. The stakes were high as both teams fiercely vied for the coveted ticket to the national championship. Simultaneously, in the compelling showdown between Ryonan and Takezato, Ryonan showcased unparalleled vigor and dominance, asserting their prowess on the court. Meanwhile, Akaji's unwavering confidence and adept display of skills gradually chipped away at Kanan's lead over Shohoku keeping the score consistently within a margin of less than four points. Amidst the intense contest, Hanamichi's soaring morale empowered him to secure several crucial rebounds, bolstering Shohoku's position. In a pivotal moment inspired by Ryota's teachings, Hanamichi executed a clever maneuver learned from Nobunanda after assuming Maki's role contributing significantly to Shohoku's point tally, tilting the balance in their favor. In a basketball match between Kanan and Shohoku, Kanan, angered by their previous loss, aimed to eliminate Sakuragi from the game. Mia was tasked with marking Sakuragi due to his three years of training. Initially surprised by Mia's presence, Shohoku continued to play to assess his abilities. Despite Mia's lack of skills and slow speed, he frustrated Sakuragi by standing in his way without making any moves. This caused Sakuragi to lose throws due to his distraction and inability to defeat his seemingly weaker opponent. As the match progressed, Sakuragi's concentration lessened and the crowd questioned his competence. Despite seeking advice on scoring from Gori and trying various strategies including dunking, Sakuragi couldn't overcome his weaknesses to score. Mia's improved techniques resulted in goals and despite Rukoa's entry into the game with determination, Shohoku ultimately could defeat Kanan. The match highlighted Sakuragi his struggles against a seemingly weaker opponent, causing his concentration to fumble, leading to Shohoku's defeat against Kanan, despite their efforts. Rukoa displayed exceptional skills when faced against Kyoto, scoring impressively. Meanwhile, Sakuragi felt intense anger at being replaced by Rukoa, and grew more furious when Megane Kumun passed the ball to Rukoa, resenting his replacement. Despite this, Rukawa's skillful play continued to shine. Gori's unwavering motivation and determination to defeat Kanan were unparalleled. With Rukawa's prowess and Gori's support, Shohoku began to catch up in the game. However, Gori suffered an injury while showcasing his abilities and passed the ball to Rukawa before collapsing in pain. His absence left the team disheartened, unsure if they could continue without him. Sakuragi returned to the court and he and Rukawa were tasked with collaborating to secure baskets. Gori's absence severely affected Shohoku, causing fear and disrupting their defense. He was the team's crucial pillar and was in critical condition, yet his ambition for victory remained steadfast despite the setback. Shohoku is struggling to match Kanan's swift offensive plays. Gori's absence from the court has thrown the team off balance, causing difficulties in ball possession and defending their basket. Despite this setback, Sakuragi, relying on his remarkable speed and jumping prowess, is determined in preventing Kanan's scoring attempts. His unwavering bravery and readiness to endure physical challenges make him an imposing defender. In a separate match within the same tournament, Ryonin effortlessly outperformed Takei Zado, securing a commanding victory with a score exceeding 100 points. Ryonin emerges as a formidable contender for the national championship. Meanwhile, the face-off between Shohoku and Kanan intensifies even in Gori's absence. Shohoku, however, initiates an impressive offensive, primarily guided by Rukoa. Despite Rukoa's remarkable talent, his tendency towards a self-reliant style of play becomes evident. Often striving to score independently, he tends to overlook his teammates, rendering himself a prime target for the opposition. This becomes a clear disadvantage for Shohoku, allowing the opposing team to concentrate on restraining Rukoa without Gori's support. Nevertheless, Shohoku tirelessly endeavors to compensate for Gori's absence, with Sakuragi exhibiting a heightened level of determination and dedication more than ever before. The arena erupted in thunderous cheers, a melody of support surrounding Rukawa, as he assumed command of the game, single-handedly guiding Shohoku's charge despite Gori's absence. With Rukawa's astonishing display of skill and Sakuragi's unwavering strength, Shohoku managed to match Kanan step for step, refusing to yield an inch. As the game intensified, the air crackled with obvious tension, 
a scoreboard reflecting a neck and neck battle. Shaoko's prospects of settling victory seem increasingly promising, yet Kanan refused to concede. Instead, they surged forth with a renewed vigor and unyielding resolve. Ruko's unparalleled brilliance seamlessly intertwined with Shohoku's collective teamwork and unrelenting fighting spirit creating a combination that represented their unwavering determination on the court. As the second half commenced, Gori made a resolute return to the court despite concerns lingering about his foot injuries. Against all expectations, he displayed a remarkable resilience, playing with a fervor that suggested no hint of injury. His determination to give his all, regardless of the circumstances, was palpable. The match intensified, and amidst the escalating tension, Shohoku managed to secure some crucial points. However, the elation quickly soared into frustration as Tana encountered, seizing a commanding lead of 10 points. Gori, fueled by a potent mix of frustration and determination, felt a surge of anger but channeled it into an unwavering resolve to overcome Kanan. Despite the adversity, Gori was unwavering in his commitment, ready to go to any lengths to turn the tide in Shohoku's favor and emerge victorious against their formidable opponents from Kanan. Gori joins the game with an injured foot and scores his first point since the match started. His determination inspires Maki and the rest of the team, who play with renewed intensity. Gori, Rukowa, Mitsui, and Mayaji work together to form a strong defense against Kanan's best player, Maki. However, Gori's injured foot is causing him pain. In an effort to distract Shohoku, Kanan's fouls Sakuragi, but he scores a free goal. Sakuragi closely guards Jim, the best three-point shooter on Kanan's team. Sakuragi's aggressive defense leads to a block, denying Jim a score. Gori, despite the pain in his foot, is playing well. In a desperate attempt to gain an advantage, Kanan fouls Sakuragi, hoping to frustrate him. Instead, Sakuragi is given a free throw which he scores. Shohoku's performance is very impressive and her defense is solid. The match between the Shohoku and Kanan universities has reached a crucial point with the Shohoku taking the lead in the second half. However, the number one player on the Kanan team, Maki, has started to make a comeback and Kanan is now ahead by 10 points. Shohoku's coach, Anzi, has shown them a formula for fighting back and the teams are ready to face off. Akaji was playing despite his foot injury and Sakuragi is focused on defeating the Kanan number one player, Maki. There are four minutes left in the game and it is headed for a crucial point. The match between Shohoku and Kanan is now really heating up. Even though Shohoku is behind by four points with only 45 seconds left, they are not giving up. Akaji and Sakuragi are putting everything they have into the game determined to win. It's a close and intense match. Both teams showed the best effort, trying to surpass each other. Rukoe was completely exhausted and was benched. The match was getting intense, with Kanan leading by four points. Sakuragi and Akagi were making a strong push to get the ball, and they were not giving up, and the players were giving it their all. The crowd is on the edge of their seats, watching every move. Shahoku is not letting Kanan's lead discourage them, and they are fighting back with all their might. Sakuragi has scored, and the crowd is letting out a shout of excitement. Kanan is now leading by two points. With nine seconds left on the clock, Shohoku made a valiant effort to score, but Sakuragi made a mistake by passing the ball to Kanan. The crowd was shocked and disappointed when the final buzzer sounded. Tears rolled down Sakuragi's cheeks as a sign of guilt and feeling responsible for their loss. Despite their hard work and determination, Akaji was angry but didn't feel defeated. As the crucial games approached, Shohoku Shohoku's team geared up for a pivotal moment, aiming to secure victories that would guarantee them the top or second position. Amidst the anticipation, Gori, despite nursing a twisted leg and relying on crutches, pushed himself to expedite his recovery for the upcoming game. His determination and unwavering spirit shone through, reflecting the team's collective drive for success. However, a tangible absence weighed heavily on the team's Sakuragi's prolonged absence from both school and training sessions following their recent match. His absence cast a shadow of concern and uncertainty leaving the team unsettled in his absence. Troubled by remorse and shouldering the weight of responsibility for their previous loss, Sakuragi fight with evident sorrow that clouded his demeanor throughout the day. Consumed by guilt and a deep sense of accountability, Sakuragi felt compelled to make a symbolic gesture, a profound manifestation of his self-imposed burden. In a sensitive act, he shaved his head, a solemn gesture reflecting his commitment to carry the weight of his mistakes and the determination to make amends, a visual symbol of his dedication to the team and his personal growth. Sakuragi and Ruko, embroiled in a blame game, were entrenched in pointing fingers at each other for the team's defeat, culminating in an intense and heated confrontation. Their verbal combat escalated into a physical dispute, casting a dark cloud over the team's unity and cooperation. Amidst this discord, Coach Anzai cleverly discerned a pivotal element in the team's dynamics, Sakuragi's indispensable role in strengthening Akaji's performance. Despite Sakuragi's potential, his confidence had wavered, affecting his gameplay. Recognizing Sakuragi's latent talent as a formidable opponent against Maki and understanding the repercussions of his diminished self-assurance, Coach Anzai formulated a strategic plan. Acknowledging Sakuragi's significance in fortifying Akaji's abilities and thereby enhancing the team's chances, 
Coach Anze took proactive measures. He proposed and organized an inter-team match, envisioning it as a platform for rigorous training sessions that would also serve to uplift Sakuragi's self-belief. This decision wasn't just about refining their collective skills. It was a deliberate effort to empower Sakuragi, fostering an environment that would help him rediscover his confidence and resilience within a supportive team framework. In the days leading up to the crucial second match of the semifinals against Takegzado, Sakuragi Hanamichi diligently adhered to Gori's directive, rigorously training by taking a staggering 600 shots per day. Despite the initial challenges and frustrations, Sakuragi remained resolute, unwavering in his commitment to improve his shooting skills. Continuing his relentless practice regimen, Sakuragi persevered, determined not to succumb to discouragement. His dedication was unwavering, driving him to push through the difficulties, tirelessly honing his shooting abilities in preparation for the impending match. However, on the fateful morning of the much-anticipated match, Sakuragi, after an additional 200 shots in his training routine encountered an unforeseen mishap, he accidentally overslept. This unexpected turn of events led to his untimely arrival, causing him to be late for this pivotal game. Despite Sakuragi's absence and dominating the rebounds, Shofoku showcased remarkable prowess on the court, securing decisive victory against Takezada with a score of 120-81. Despite the setback of one win and one loss in the semifinals, the team demonstrated resilience and cohesion, highlighting their capability to persevere and thrive even in challenging circumstances. In the high-stakes battleground of the Inter-High Playoffs second round, Rayonin emerged with unwavering determination, facing off against the formidable Kanan. Their approach was meticulous and resolute, geared towards overcoming their revered adversaries. Rayonin's clever decision to position Sendo as the anchor point guard spoke volumes about their strategic insight. From the onset, the atmosphere on the court crackled with an electrifying fervor. Raven orchestrated a symphony of calculated moves and showcased unparalleled skills, all aimed at dismantling the reigning champions, Kanan. Their tactical skillfulness and sheer prowess transformed the game into a spectacle of brilliance. Even the indomitable Maki, a strong Kanan's strength, found himself caught off guard by Ryonin's cunning and innovative strategies. Despite Kanan's reputation, they struggled to match the relentless assault orchestrated by Ryonin. The scoreboard told a compelling story, with Ryonin establishing a commanding lead of nine points. Their mastery over the game had propelled them to the forefront, on the brink of securing a breathtaking victory over the once-dominant Kanan. The prospect of Ryonin triumphing over the reigning champions now loomed as a tangible reality, painting a portrait of an imminent and stunning upset in the accounts of the Inter-High playoff. The first part of Slum Dunk was fun, wasn't it? Basketball is great, let's play it together!